Today's story, Trick or Treat, Smell My Feet, by Diane DeGroat. Look, Gilbert, I'm a ballerina. Lola twirled around in her tutu. It's for Halloween, she said. What are you going to be? Gilbert held up the mask he was making and said, I'm going to be one of the Martian space pilots, Captain Zig, but don't tell anyone. I don't want anybody to copy my idea. Lola suddenly stopped twirling. I want to be a Martian space pilot too, she cried. But I just finished making your costume, Mother said. You wanted to be a ballerina. You don't have to do everything I do, Gilbert said. Your costume is nice too. If I were you, I would be a ballerina. You would? Lola asked. Sure, said Gilbert, but I'm not you, so I'm going to be Captain Zig. The next day was Halloween, and Gilbert packed his Martian space pilot costume into a paper bag so he could change later at school. Lola copied him and put her pink ballerina costume into a paper bag also. You're too little to go to school, Gilbert said. I'll take you trick-or-treating when I get home, okay? Okay, said Lola. I'll practice. She held the bag open in front of Gilbert and said, Trick-or-treat. Smell my feet, Gilbert answered. I don't want to smell your feet. That's what you're supposed to say on Halloween, Gilbert said. Lola laughed and sang, Trick-or-treat, smell my feet. Now give me something good to eat. Here's a treat, Gilbert said, and he dropped the piece of toast he was eating into her bag. After breakfast, Gilbert grabbed his paper bag and headed for the door. Goodbye, Gilbert, father called from the kitchen. We'll watch for you in the costume parade. Lola followed her brother and said, I want to be in a parade too. You can come and watch, Gilbert said. I'll wave to you. Remember, I'll be the one in the Martian space pilot costume. Patty was waiting for Gilbert at the corner. What are you going to be for Halloween, she said. Don't tell anyone, Gilbert whispered, but I'm going to be Captain Zig. I'm going to be a Martian space pilot too, said Patty. I'm going to be Admiral Xena. Hey, Gilbert said, being a Martian space pilot was my idea. I guess we had the same idea, Patty said. I hope no one else does. After lunch, Mrs. Bird stood in front of the class and said, boys and girls, Principal Pines will be leading the parade today. We will all line up in the hall and then march single file out the main entrance and around the block. Stay with your class. And if you see your family or your neighbors, you may wave, but please do not leave the line. Then when we come back to our room, we can have our party. Everyone shouted, yay. Now you may line up to get into your costumes, Mrs. Bird said, quietly. Lewis lined up behind Gilbert. He waved his monster mask in Gilbert's face and said, trick or treat. Gilbert laughed and said, smell my feet. Everyone snickered, except Mrs. Bird. She said, Lewis and Gilbert, please go to the end of the line. They were the last ones in the boys' room, and some of their classmates were already in costumes. Gilbert counted five Martian space pilots. I'm Captain Zig, Frank said in a deep Captain Zig voice. I've come to save your planet. Hey, said Gilbert, you copied my idea. I was going to be Captain Zig. Well, Frank said, it looks like a lot of us had the same idea. When the other boys finished dressing, they went back to the classroom. Not Gilbert. He wasn't excited about his costume anymore. He wished he had thought of something different, but now it was too late. He opened his bag. He closed it quickly and blinked hard. He opened the bag again. He wasn't looking at his Captain Zig costume. He was looking at Lola's ballerina costume. Gilbert pulled out the frilly pink tutu. 
This must be some kind of trick, he said. He shook the bag and a half-eaten piece of toast fell out. And this is definitely not a treat. Gilbert thought a moment. If he had Lola's costume, she must have his. And she was probably wearing it right now, waiting for the parade. Gilbert needed to get it before the party. But he didn't want Mrs. Bird to catch him outside without a costume on. She would think Gilbert forgot to bring one, and she had already scolded him once today. There was only one thing to do. Gilbert undressed and pulled on the tutu, tugging it up as far as it would go. Then he picked up the paper bag and tore out two holes for the eyes. It wasn't exactly a mask, but at least it was a disguise. He didn't want his friends to see him dressed as a ballerina. When Gilbert stepped into the hallway, his class was already passing through. No one recognized him, so he followed them down the hall and out the door. The street was lined with people watching and waving and taking pictures. Gilbert looked up and down the street, cutting in and out of line, but he couldn't find his sister anywhere. Hey, quit pushing, someone yelled. It's not me, a tall space pilot said. It's that girl with the bag on her head. Please stay in line, a teacher said. Gilbert recognized Mrs. Bird's voice behind him. Then he heard another voice he knew. Look, Daddy, Gilbert's wearing my ballerina costume. Up ahead, he saw Lola standing next to Father, and she was wearing Gilbert's costume. Hey, Gilbert, she called and waved. Gilbert looked around to make sure Mrs. Bird couldn't see him leave the line. Then he rushed over to Lola. I need my costume quick, he shouted. Give me mine first, she said. Stay with your class, boys and girls, a teacher said loudly. Gilbert grabbed Lola's hand and pulled her back toward the line with him. Lola thought she was going to be in the parade with the big kids, but Gilbert pulled her right through the line and headed for the school. Hey, where are we going, she asked. Some place where we can switch costumes, Gilbert said. He knew that the side door was a shortcut to the bathrooms. Quick, he said, this way. But Lola wasn't very quick. She kept tripping over the too big costume. By the time they reached the boys' room, they were out of breath. Gilbert pushed the door open, and there was Lewis standing in his underwear. Hey, no girls allowed, Lewis yelled. Let's try the girls' room, Lola said helpfully. No way, Gilbert said. Come on, maybe my classroom is still empty. They ran down the hall to Mrs. Bird's room. They had just reached the door when Lola tripped on her costume and Gilbert tripped on Lola. They tumbled inside, right into the middle of a party. Gilbert's paper bag mask had flown off. Everyone was staring at him and his tutu. Gilbert did the only thing he could think of. He twirled around the room, then raised his arms up and said, Ta-da! There was a long silence. Gilbert? Frank asked finally. What are you supposed to be? He's a ballerina, silly, Lola said as Mrs. Bird helped her to her feet. And I'm Captain Zig. Patty said, well, Gilbert, at least you didn't have the same costume as everyone else. Of course not, Gilbert said. I wanted to be something different. My sister here wanted to be a space pilot like everyone else, but not me, he said proudly. Then he twirled across the floor to the refreshment table. Soon, Father appeared at the door to take Lola home. Mrs. Bird gave her some pumpkin cookies to take back with her. Trick or treat, Mrs. Bird said, handing her the bag. Smell my feet, Lola said, taking it. She passed Gilbert on the way out. Are you still going to take me trick or treating later, Gilbert? I guess so, he said. And Gilbert? What? This time, can I be the ballerina? Gilbert laughed. Don't you want to be a Martian space pilot anymore? No, she said, taking Father's hand. If I were you, I'd be one, but I'm me, so I'm going to be a ballerina. She skipped out the door, singing, Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. The end.